And I was sad for Margate because I think that we lost part of our soul when Dreamland closed. Oh, my earliest memories, I was uh, eight years old, 1956, and we were in a caravan in Westgate, and uh, Mum and Dad made us walk from Westgate to Margate on Thursday evenings to see the fireworks. Obviously, the scenic railway was the, the main attraction at the time because it was exciting. It was probably the, the first one that anybody had been on in England at the time. My earliest memories of visiting Dreamland that had to be um, the sounds and smells. There was all sorts of things going on. It was just, for, for a little child, it was amazing. I like that thing when you go down and up and down. It's really fun and it's, it's tall and I feel like when I go down, my tummy goes <laughs> funny. And I suppose the other thing is things, things like the bumper cars. Nowadays, you put a coin in a slot to a token in a slot. Used to be driving around in those days and the guy would come around and jump on the back and hold on to the bar and collect the money, you know, as you were going round. And you wouldn't be paying until you were actually driving around and he'd be taking the bumps with you. Um, I was a candy floss maker and there was always that anticipation at the weekends of all the coaches that would come down and how busy you would get. The weather affected candy floss. Um, you could have sticky days and fluffy days, depending on the humidity. One of the best stories, I think, seeing the kids under the merry rose, and as the rose swung up in the air, the coins would be coming out, and the kids would be below it, grabbing what they could. It was quite amusing. But my later memories are more brighter in my mind because they were in my early teens. When I went with my husband, we went from the youth club on an annual trip. Um, we used to get dressed up. The guys used to wear their mohair suits, ties, shirts and ties, and the girls used to get dressed up just to go down to Dreamland. The best ride, the one that I really enjoyed was the Scenic Railway, but that's because it was the ride that my husband was the, um, that was in, not in charge of, but second in command of, of that ride. And um, it's kind of, that's how we met really. I remember my first trip to Dreamland. Uh, I lived in Hackney and I was attending this adventure playground and we all got into this coach and they decided they were going to take um, this group of kids from an estate from Hackney uh, to the beach because a lot of us had never seen a beach before and I remember being on the beach and seeing Dreamland and instantly intrigued and excited about what it was. The, the fact that you could just walk around and feel, I don't know, it's nostalgic. It's still, it's still nostalgic even after all this time. <laughs>